Hi, this is Stephen Blair from Solid Angle Support, and in this video, I'm going to walk through setting up M2A in uh, a Mac OS X system. So, I've downloaded the latest version of M2A, and then I've opened my Finder window, and here in the Downloads folder is uh, the file I downloaded. And so, I want to install this. I'm going to install this in a folder called Solid Angle that's inside my user folder, Users ST Blair. And I just want to mention that if you look at the documentation uh, for installing, it often it talks about users solid angle. So in my case, I replaced the name solid angle with my own username, which is ST Blair. And also I decided to put it in a solid angle folder as opposed to M2A. Um, that was just a choice I made because I was also installing licensing. So I have two things in my solid angle folder, licensing and M2A. So otherwise, I'm more I'm following these instructions. So let's just install M2A, or basically, in other words, extract it. So I just have to copy over or move my downloaded file to my actual destination where I want it. Double click it. It's going to extract itself, and so now I have the M2A distribution installed on my computer. So now I just have to edit two files to set it up so that Maya can load this plugin. First the m2a.mod file. So I just need to update this to point to this location, this folder path. So just to get that folder path, because I'm lazy, I don't want to type it all in, I'm going to just copy it from the uh, info dialog. So I just highlight that, right click, copy, and close that. And now let's edit m2a.mod using text edit, because this has to be a text file. Or it is a text file, and always want to edit it as a text file, plain text. So text edit. So I just want to replace this placeholder text with the actual text I just copied. So I paste that in. If it happens that your file is locked, you can just un click up here and unlock it. In this case, mine's unlocked. So that's done, first step. Now the next step, if we look at the documentation, it talks about setting some environment variables. And the easiest way to do that is in the Maya.env file, which is in your Autodesk Maya preferences. So let's just go over to Finder and go find those. So to get to uh, the preferences, they're in a hidden folder called Library. Well, hidden by default. So I'll assume it's hidden on your folder too, in, on your computer too. So I'm just going to click Go. I'm going to hold down the Alt key. And now that shows me my library. So I'll click that. It's going to open it up. See, library. So I want to find the preferences folder, Autodesk, Maya, the version. And in here, I want a Maya.env file. So there isn't one already. So I'm going to have to create one. So to do that, I'm going to use text edit. So I'm just going to use the spotlight text edit, open it up. And now I'm just going to save the file before I put anything in it, just so I have it there. So file save. And for me, it's already set up to save in the right place. For you, it might not. Let me just change this. So maybe it was set to, let's say it was set to somewhere else. How can I make it save in there easily? Well, I can just drag and drop. I drop this here. So it's going to save it in this folder now. So I want to call it maya.env. I don't want it to be rich text format. It has to be plain text. And save. So now I have a blank file. I just got to get the actual environment variables I want. So to do that, first I'll just copy from the documentation these ones. This is what I want. So copy. And back to text edit. Paste those in. It's kind of annoying, it keeps the formatting, but let me see if I close this and open it up again, you'll see that it was actually plain text. So now I just need to change these paths to be the correct ones. So again, again instead of typing it, I'm just going to copy it. Uh, so what I'll do is I'll actually just go back here, open this again with text edit, copy it out of there. So I need this path. So copy that and close this now. Now I just have to update these three environment variables. Paste. Now 
oops, press the wrong key, paste. And here I, it has been at the end, so it's, I don't replace everything. So just make sure I do that right. I'm missing the slash. So now I have the correct paths for all three. The path, well first the Maya module path, that's going to tell Maya where to find that m2a.mod file. That's very important. The path is the next very important one. If that's not set properly, the load in won't, the plugin won't load in the plugin manager of Maya. So that's it. Uh, I'm all set up now. I just have to start Maya, open the plugin manager, and load M2A. That's it. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.